Hello, everyone. So I'm here uh, again with Sharik. And in this session, we will dis we will learn about nested handling units. So uh, as I promised in the last session, when we discussed and explained about the use of handling units in EWM, uh, we also mentioned about in the next session, we will explain how nested handling unit works. So as you might be able to see my screen, and before uh, before I uh, start everything, one request to everyone uh, to please uh, subscribe to my channel. And the reason for asking to subscribe is uh, that will encourage me to make more and more videos because I want everyone who's interested to learn SAP and finding it hard to learn the right thing. I am here to help. And if you put any comments that you want to see in the future videos, I'll do my best to create those videos. Okay, back to the session. So in the nested handling unit, first of all, we need to understand what is a nested handling unit. So imagine you are, uh, imagine a big organization where there's loads of goods to receive, loads of goods to issue, and there are trucks coming in, trucks coming out, okay? So it's not a small retail shop where you go to the grocery and pick up stock. So you have to think, uh, for a big organization, how the goods receiving and goods issue works, then only you will understand. Okay. So when, and then you can picture a truck, which is loading a lot of stuff into uh, their, their trucks. Okay. And when you're loading it, you load in pallets and you load uh, all into one truck. And then the trucks are dispatched to the uh, to their respective destinations okay now why nested handling unit because let's take an example of apple okay so you have to deliver apple for example from a manufacturer of apple to let's say tesco or asta okay so you won't be just delivering delivering uh independent individual apples you'll be delivering them in uh, packaging units which is uh, the handling units. So apples generally when they are received or issued, they are packed in uh, cartons, which is first level of handling unit. So if you have multiple uh, like thousands of apples to deliver, so you will have hundreds of cartons to pack those apples into. Okay. So these apples, all these apples will go into the cartons. Yeah. Yeah. And this one, for example, this goes into this carton. So you can you can have like uh, 200 apples or 100 apples in one carton and 100 apples in carton two. Okay. And those two cartons, those two which are already filled with apples go into the high level handling. Okay. So this, this bigger handling unit that you see, it's a high level handling unit where all the different uh, cartons are put into. So this is level one and this becomes level two and this is also level two, which goes into that. So this combined together is called a nested handling. Okay. So now this is a setup, which was very important to understand what nested handling unit is. And then we can see it in the system. Okay. Over to you, Sharik. And then we can show in the system how this works. Hello everyone. So now I'm going to show you how you can create your nested handling unit in the system. So before we have uh, our packaging material, let me remind you that we have already configured our packaging material in our previous video. So if you want to create that, you can refer that video and I'll provide the link and you can watch that. So let's get started. So for creating your ha nested handling unit, you first need your delivery. Okay. So I have already created one purchase order from that. I'm going to create one inbound delivery for that VL 31 N. This is my purchase order. So we'll be taking an example of, uh, maybe 200 quantities of Apple. This is my storage location, which I've linked with my warehouse. Okay, which is US four. So what we are going to do in the nested HU, we will distribute these 200 quantities into 
two different cartons okay 100 quantity in one carton and 100 quantity in different one and uh, two carton uh, small carton will get store under one big carton that will be our high level hu so i'll show you that first let me save this so this is your inbound delivery and it is now distributed to our ewm warehouse request copy that go to slash n slash scwm slash prdi put your inbound delivery number so as you can see this is my inbound delivery or warehouse request that i'm going to work with the nested hu what you need to do next is go to inbound delivery and go to follow on function here you will see pack option just click on that and you will see your product that is apple that for which we are created our inbound delivery this is our product and this is the quantity we are receiving okay so we need to put this quantity in two different cartons that carton will be your uh, low level hu and uh, then the small carton gets stored under high level hu so i'll show you how you can do this so packaging material we have already discussed in a previous video how to create that uh, you can watch that video so this is my packaging material that we am currently using so for each level of hus you can use different type of packaging materials but for this video we are just using this pack packaging materials so it's just an example so you will get the idea so here what do you think how many hus we need so two two handling unit we need for individual 100 quantities of apples for small cartons and then that small carton will get stored under high level hu so in total we need three numbers of hus okay so you need to put three here and execute the system will automatically create three hus for you okay so this is 103 104 and 105 okay so your apples are there in uh, us 44 this is your delivery and this is 200 quantities so you want this uh 200 quantities to get segregated into two different cartons okay just click on this go to repack put your delivery number so we'll put 7 i guess so line item we have 10 quantity 100 so your destination hu will be this okay just click on this go to detail 2 you we'll get the handling unit number just copy that and put in the destination hu and execute so 100 quantities will get transferred to this handling unit okay now this left over 100 quantity you need to drag and drop in the next hu okay just drag it and drop in this hu yeah now you will have two two different carton stored with 100 pieces of apple okay this is your high level hu 105 so next step you need to drag and drop these small carton into your high level hu this drag and drop in 105 this one also now you will see you only have one handling unit inside that you have two small cartons and this small cartons you will have 100 100 each apple quantity in small cartons okay okay cool so essentially all the handling units are of the same handling unit type in our example uh, and we are use we've used cartons so so because let's say 100 more than 100 apple can't go in one carton so if we've used more than one and uh, that is why you see two different cartons uh, which are uh, for 104 and 103 correct yeah and that so, goes into 105 yeah 
so as you as you will save this data you will see in the warehouse request that you have created the only one level of hu okay if you go to hu you will only see handling unit which is high level okay 105 is a high level hu so you can only see that just directly create a warehouse task and in the handling unit you will see this is your handling unit inside that you have two different small cartons create plus save warehouse task has been created and now you need to confirm So in our setup, we are taking this carton from door to our good receiving area, okay? Which are which is our GIA zone. So if I show you in the monitor, stock overview. Nine zero three zero is our door. And this is our GR zone. So we have received in a GR zone. Go to physical stock. Here you will see your one zero three and one zero four as small cartons. Okay, stored in GR zone. But if you scroll, you will see the high level HU, which is one zero five. Okay, these two small carton get stored under one zero five, which is our high level HU. Okay, so this is the process how you can follow the nested HU in EWN. Yes, looks good, Sharik. Yeah. So I hope uh, people have understood concept of handling unit. You have to try, of course, yourself to see and put any uh, issues or any problems that you face during uh, uh, trying it out, and uh, we will try and help as much as possible. And uh, lastly, just again. If there is any other video or any other interesting thing that you would like to see, specifically in the area of supply chain, logistic, procurement, EWM, just feel free to comment and we'll try and make those videos. Okay. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks, Sharik. Thank you for us.